Well, you know, I don't want to definitely leave my people in the dark because I had always been trying to bring the light. So let's talk about the light of Putin releasing these icon Renaissance paintings. Now I want y'all to hold on to that word Renaissance because we're going to get into it. But first, let's get into this clip and let's see what came out of Putin's mouth. Researchers of the Russian Orthodox Church are arguing that this transfer of icons is a political move on behalf of Putin. He wants to keep the church on his side in this war by showing his respect to the religious institution. The West claims that Putin is framing the war as a battle for the survival of Russia, to which the researchers further demand that he needs to prove that the war is not his personal military activity, but that there is a higher metaphysical mission in Russia that he is trying to fulfill. In the past, several Russian propagandists have used Christian symbolism about fighting the devil. So if you listen to the video correctly, Putin clearly, they clearly stated this is a political move. This is not just, I'm opening up the vault. This is a political move going on. And the political move has to do with what? A black messiah and a renaissance black messiah. Keep that word in mind, the renaissance black messiah. Not no 2,000 years, but... I'm, I'm, I'm going to replay it right quick. That this transfer of icons is a political move on behalf of Putin. So you heard it for yourself, y'all. Open up these vaults is a political move. So it's, this political move has everything to do with what? With the rise of a black messiah. This is why Putin said he stands. Like, this is not Putin standing for a Christian religion and all these things. Renaissance and these things have different words. That's why I say I'm going to get the definition for that. But he also says he has a metaphysical agenda. But I'm going to let y'all listen to it. The West claims that Putin is framing the war as a battle for the survival of Russia, to which the researchers further demand that he needs to prove that the war is not his personal military activity, but that there is a higher metaphysical mission in Russia that he is trying to fulfill. So he clearly said he got a higher metaphysical agenda. This is not a for personal gain. Again, this is a political move. And it's dealing with what? The black renaissance Christ. Now, let's get into what word, what the word metaphysics means. Now, let's get into the definition, y'all. It says, the essentially metaphysic question of nature of mind. Now, what are all, at the end of judgment, uh, what are all religious organizations are trying to do? They want to be in the nature of mind of Christ. Something that humans can't perceive. That's why, I guess Putin used the word. The people that's claiming he is doing this stuff for personal gain, they don't understand the metaphysics of it. It says, characteristics of the metaphysical poets. We know the people in the Bible was metaphysical poets. Because they was writing over people's heads. Still the other day, people read the Bible, don't understand it. Because you don't understand the poets was, speak, was writing in metaphysics. So let's go down right here. What does metaphysics mean in simple terms? An idea, a doctrine. Or oppose reality outside of human sense and perception. So, what is the Russian government? They can't perceive what Putin is really doing. The world can't either. But I'm just here to enlighten y'all, you know. So, let's get into the word renaissance. So, when we get into the word renaissance, what does renaissance mean? Rebirth. That don't mean... This Messiah, that, that this, this image of the Messiah is going to crack the skies. This is what? This is written in prophecy. So Renaissance is not an ancient painting. Renaissance is about rebirth, regenerating. Now let's go to the scripture. So y'all, we're in Matthew 19 and 28, and it reads, And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man sits on the throne of his glory and ye also shall sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel so again these paintings are about a regeneration a rebirth the rebirth of a nation through the anointed one which will be the son of man which will be the chosen vessel of god which will represent the christ which will be the renaissance paintings that putin is opening now we know christ comes with the government on his shoulders the powers that be know these things. So if Christ guns with the government on his shoulders, why Putin is standing with Christ? Because Christ 
will have the uniform code for all the nations. So all nations would do what Putin does. Putin just wanted the first. So this is why these paintings are coming out. My so-called African people, my so-called black people. So that means this is time for us to unify and raise up a government. Because if you don't raise up a government, you don't have a revolution. A revolution starts with forming a government because the government that we have is not fit to govern us. That's why we have the uniform code of Christ, the true code of conduct, the true morals of conduct to govern the world in the Father's name, as is written, all nations under God. And again, y'all, if you didn't know, these paintings come from Ethiopia. And as always, we hope the Father has circumcised y'all hearts and ears for the message. Peace and blessings. I'm out.